Hi guys, welcome back to Lost Golf Centre, myself Joe Lavery. So today I've got quite an old putter. Um, I've got the original 1966 Ping Answer slot line and what I'm going to do is compare that to the new Ping slot line. So this is the 50 year anniversary edition. Let's see what the difference is and how they feel. So guys, I'm very fortunate today to be back in the AT uh, putt lab where I can actually then give these two a test. So what they've basically done is they've taken the original, they took some scans of it and produced the new 50 year anniversary edition. So the idea is they haven't really changed. If I put them here in this position, you can see slot line there still. See this one is 50 years old. So you're gonna to have to excuse its condition a little bit. So the faces are a little bit different. This one's quite smooth. <laughs> that one there's quite smooth on the left hand side. You can see on the right hand side, we've got the actual grooving. So it's got a kind of pure roll face on it. The idea is obviously with the technology is to get the ball rolling a little bit smoother um, and get it rolling end over end. If I then put on the side profile, you can see they haven't really changed between where it was then and where it was now. So very, very cool the fact they've done this. Obviously this one didn't come originally with a super stroke. Um, the guy that had this put that on himself. That's probably much more the sort of original grip you would see. Um, so we'll have a roll with each and see how they feel. It's cool that they kind of dangle at the same sort of toe hang as well. And it's nice to see Ping producing old putters. This putter supposedly had the most wins on tour that a putter's had. So that's pretty cool. Let's give it a roll. Okay, so let's hit a few putts with the 50 year old Ping answered slot line to begin with. So first impressions, very light. I don't know if you can see, I can generate some serious speed with this. It hasn't quite got the weight of a modern putter, but let's give it a try. I'm presuming the sound is gonna sound really firm with these new golf balls. You can kind of hear the difference between that and a, and a new putter. So it's definitely got that slightly firmer sound. To look at though, it is extremely pretty. <laughs> For a 50 year old putter, rocks really nicely. Um, I absolutely love the style of these. They kind of really set what a blade should look like. And it's amazing to think that in all these years of golf, if you think how much the drivers have changed from the sort of original persimmon woods to these, you know, um, to what we've got now in like the Epic, for example, where you've got like a carbon composite crown and in the M2, you've got the same. Yet in the putters, all they've changed really in the new one, they've added a little bit more weight, slight, I'm guessing, change in material, but the design has remained the same. You know, if, if, if I pulled out an old school driver now on the first tee, everyone would look at me like, how on earth are you hitting that? You know, we've gone up to a 460cc head, whereas these bladed putters have not changed. So yeah, very impressive. I say it feels a little bit light, kind of makes that sound, but it, it's expected. But if you've got one of these, hang on to it because they're awesome so on to the new one so it's 340 grams obviously looks slightly cooler finish than what the other one did i think they were made they would have been probably the same color so slot line i don't know if you can see goes all the way through there if i bring that right in you can see how actually you can see my finger there underneath so the slot literally goes right through the center of the putter so pretty cool design you'll be able to probably see right through there in that position so cool design grip very traditional feel they've gone back to that traditional pin grip i know we saw woods at one time using this sort of style of grip just feels great in the hand um yeah so this one designed for i believe a slight arc yep slight arc so 340 grams with a pure roll face so the one thing we'll notice is a lot heavier and rocks a little bit smoother than what um, the original did. Just feels like it wants to stay on that point a little bit more. I don't know if that's the extra weight. It just feels a little bit better balanced. Although saying that, the other one's probably had some abuse in its time. First impressions, you can tell the difference by the sound and the feel. I mean, off this thing, you can hardly really feel the impact. You, you know you've made it, but it just rolls off nicely. With the other one, it felt like you were hitting a brick, in fairness. You, you could really feel you were hitting that golf ball and how much effort you're putting into it. Definitely an improved roll. Um, I, 
I would hate to think, well, that one's loft's got on it. Does look a little bit lofty, whereas this one, I mean, you can hardly see much of the face. So I'm going to guess it's about three degrees of loft. Just enables that ball to roll nicely. Really see it rolling end over end. As I say, no sight line's kind of an interesting one. You can kind of see there, no sight line. Um, I guess stops any distraction for a lot of players. Sometimes people get too caught up with where we're actually aiming the putter. Then where it is at impact, you see then quite a lot of people kind of trying to, trying to move the putter around, trying to grab the aim. With this, you kind of pick a point, visualize it, and just try and putt over it. So yeah, very cool putter. Very good. Um, Say so feels great off the face. Lovely weight, like the grip. Very traditional. So guys, 50 years of ping putters, and to be honest, not a huge amount has changed. We've just slightly obviously got the newer, the newer look, um, just the newer finish. Say so overall though, the putters look very similar. Just the new face, slightly more weight. Um, I mean, I guess that's just made to help with modern golf balls, help them roll a little bit better on the greens. Obviously they're gonna be a little bit heavier now than what they were before, made of different materials. But yeah, I mean, it is, it's pretty much the same. It's impressive how they've just scanned it and said, right, we're really going to celebrate this and do it. So it's great to see. I'd be surprised if they did it with any of the woods. I don't know how that would work if you start giving your 18 handicapper a really small driver and go, yeah, 50 years. Things have kind of moved on, whereas in putting, we can sort of get away with it, um, which is great. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a great putter to see. So thanks very much for watching guys if you haven't already checked our at uh, facebook and instagram pages at at golf coaching obviously been here again in the at uh, putt lab based at gloucester golf center so it'd be great to see perhaps some of you in um if you can post a comment under here or like it or share it it'd be really really appreciated and yeah thanks very much for watching and i'll see you soon cheers